Hello everyone and welcome to another Let's Play by Tomboy Gamer XL. Um, a bit deepest apologies to anyone who was actually sitting down and watching the previous Let's Play, which was Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Sorry, but that will no longer be happening because I've realized just how much a crappy Let's Play it was. And not only that, but I think I've lost the disc again. Yeah. So, yeah, until I can find the disc, that may never happen. Anywho, in this Let's Play, we're going to be playing a very kind of recent video um, Otome game, or visual novel as you'd like to call it, called Nicole's. Very cliche name. Anywho, let's get this on the road. So this is going to be an Otome game. It's very, very common for girls supposedly to play these kind of games. And this... Actually, I like these kind of games. Visual novels are very interesting to me, like Persona or any kind of like Magical Diaries. They're all they're all very diverse and pretty fun when you look at it. So, anywho, let's get this started. And I, for these visual novel games, which I will be playing more of, we're gonna just read the text to you. Probably stop in the middle. I warn you guys, I do suck sometimes when it comes to reading, but bear with me. <coughs> so let's get this started. There are already tons of people on campus when I arrive. What a cool place. It's busy and loud, but I find that it just makes the atmosphere more exciting in a way. It's nice to know that nothing's different just because I picked a private university to attend. I didn't know there was such a thing as public and private u colleges or universities. I'm assuming from the name and the atmosphere that this is probably in a school in America. I can't make and guarantee that it is, but I'm gonna assume. Sorry. Thanks to some help from school, I already have most of my stuff up in my room. The only thing left is, is a single box, and it's already being hefted awkwardly around my arm. I really want to look around, but that can wait for later, when I have more time. I picked up my stride, my stride as I approach the dormitory, weaving past other students as I go. I've never heard anyone say stride in my life. I nearly crash into people more often than I'd like. But I make sure to hastily mumble an apology to each student who has the misfortune of getting in my way. See, that's the problem. Why are people walking into you when you have a box in your hand? I would, I would have scooped over and been like, oh, she's got a box in her hand. She probably can't see me. I know I should slow down, but I can't help it. I've been waiting for this for so long. I worked really hard to get into this university, and now that I'm here, I can hardly believe it. I'm not the only one like this. All around me, I can hear people chattering. My ears prick up at the mention of local restaurants, teachers to avoid, teachers to take, popular media, and a medley of other topics. It's your typical school talk, and as badly as I want to, t to just join in with someone and make some new friends, I have stuff I got to take care of. Man, already with the responsibilities. Seriously? You consider taking your stuff to your room responsibility? Swear, you can s honestly... <laughs> I, I, no words. No words for this girl. Responsibility. Soon I'm in one of the halls of the dorm, glancing at the at each door number I pass to try and find mine. I'm rooming with someone for the year. What? I don't know how to pronounce that. Chandra? Chandra? You know what? I'm going to... I'm kind of... You know I'm an anime fan. You, you know that. Especially if you see my main account. So... Go ahead and assume that I'm going to use some Japanese phonics on this name. Well, and say Chan. I'm going to say Chandra. Chandra John Don. I think her name was. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Everyone, do you see this? Lost phone, 411. I know this is a freshman dormitory. How? It's only September the 1st. How do you lose your phone? It's only been one day. You haven't even been here for four hours. How did you lose your phone? <sighs> I must move on. I don't know all that much about her, but I'm hoping she's cl she'll be cool. Oh, seriously, though. Lose your phone? You haven't even been here for a full day. That is such a freshman thing. In the worst case scenario, I'm going to have to switch rooms, but that's to keep optimistic. No, blah, blah. Optimistic. I haven't even met her. Exactly. You see, talking about switching rooms, but you haven't even seen her yet. Oh, boy, I'm doing this one. Some nice music came in. I gasp as I hit something, or really someone in the hall. We collide so hard that I nearly drop my box, and the unfortunate soul is knocked down to the ground with a pained breath. Poor girl. She should have been at me way. Ah, I'm so, so sorry. Are you okay? 
I clumsily place the box down and offer a hand out. The girl I knock down rises to her knees, gently massaging her head. Well, she's pretty and so tan. I'm jealous. I always burn when I try to do that. I'm going to address two things really too long with this. One, you should probably wear some sunscreen because that's the only scenario I can assume where someone's burning when they try to tan. Take some lessons from some Jersey people. Anyhow, and why is it whenever in an anime or in a drawing, a character that looks dark? is considered tan. And sometimes they're super dark to the point where you'd be like, aren't they African American? Or black or something, maybe? But she looks like she's African American, but I don't know. It's, you know. We'll leave judgment to her when we ask her. She may be Indian from from the hair color, I don't know. She might, I don't know. I, I'm babbling again. Uh, I'm fine. Thanks. I mustn't have, I mustn't have been paying attention. I've never used mustn't when I say must not. <laughs> I, it's just a pet. She looks up at me and smiles as she takes my hand and pulls herself up. I don't have a big box blocking my view as an excuse. You can't wear anything else. <laughs> I still should have tried to watch where I was going. No, you shouldn't. People should watch out for you. If you're gonna be like me, Nicole, we're gonna have to do a lot of work. I offer out a hand. I'm Nicole, by the way. My name is Chandra. It's nice to meet you. Oh, so this is the girl. What is with that mouth? Oh, my god. The mouths, they're just throwing me off. Wait, did she just say Chandra John? I start to grin as Chandra and I reali realize it at the same time. She points eagerly at me. Nicole, is your last name great? Whoa, now. Okay, so I did not mention this in the beginning besides the fact that it was a mystery Otome game, but this is the mystery Otome game where, in all honesty, you're gonna, there are gonna be some weird things going on in this school, and we've gotta figure out what's going on. So, you best believe how creepy this is, the fact that the name is Grave. Really? No, 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 that's bad luck, alright. Yes, so that makes us roommates. I squeal excitedly while Chandra gives me a much more contained sheepish, smi sheepish smile. That doesn't look sheepish in the least. Wow, Nicole, it's nice to meet you. Same, same. Except the whole knocking you down thing. O oh, that was an accident. Don't worry, I'm not mad. I don't care if you're mad, anyway. As if to change the subject, Chandra gestures to the side of the hall. I can show you over to our room. I actually have to go and pick up more stuff. But feel free to place your things wherever. Cool, thanks, Chandra. I pick my box back up and follow after Chandra as she leads me down the hall and to the left. The second door from the end turns out to be our room, and I bid her off with a tilt of my head before I head in. Our room's pretty... Oh, sorry. If you can hear that, that's my dog. I do live in a house with a lot of people, and he barks whenever the doorbell rings, so my biggest apologies if you can hear that. Our room's pretty empty, but that's to be expected. I give an awkward attempt at a shrug as I hug, hold the box in my arms. I was about to say hug. This is a farce. I've seen college dorms. I went to my sister's. This is not how the room looked. That bed would be much closer to the rug. That bed on, bed on the right would be like right at the foot of the, the foot of the rug. You know what? Nah. And the computer desk barely fit. This is not how college university or university rooms look like anymore. I guess I have the room all to myself for now. I bump the door closed on my butt, then set then <laughs> set the box down near where I set up my s other stuff. I see unfamiliar furnishings at the other side of the room, and I assume those are Chandra's belongings. No dip. It's great that she got here around the same time. I like my space and all, but I'm sure it can get lonely with no one around. And there you have it, the primary difference between me and the protagonist already! I would not mind being alone in a room, quite frankly. I would have just taken out my, I would have taken out my Xbox 360, set it, on, set it down on that desk, plug up the TV, and sit there and play like there was nothing else going on in life. We're gonna have to do some heavy work on this girl. I have to admit that the room is pretty nice. It's kind of too simple for my taste. But there's a ton of some space for me to put stuff. That is unrealistic. In college dorms, it's always too small. I, I may go to high school, but I know that for a fact. Yeah, I think I can get used to this room. I give a triumphant smirk as I think of all the, those people who didn't take me seriously back in high school. A girl like me at a university like this? Why would they do that? Everyone thought I was joking when I told them of my first school, first choice school. 
Some jerks even laughed at the idea. Oh, that's a douche move. Uh, but what are you supposed to be, the ditzy blonde? Because that's only that's really the only reason why people would doubt the fact that she was that she wanted to do this. Okay, I mean, I guess I don't seem like the type of girl to be a complete brainiac. But hey, just because I'm smart doesn't mean I can, can't try to keep up with other things besides my studies. High five on that. Like clothes. Hmm. Actually, I wonder if there are any sweet boutiques around here. No, God, no. You mean to say if there's any sweet game stores in this vicinity? It doesn't take long to log into my school's connection. Despite all the horror stories I've heard about college internet, it's decent. And I start lining up tabs of my favorite websites at the top of my browser. Along with that, this that is a tab of my favorite blogging sites. My blog favorite. Blah, 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 blah. God. Along with that is a <laughs> is a tab of my favorite blogging site of all time. The one, the only, Roller. I'm gonna assume right off the bat that that's supposed to be a parody of Tumblr, but even that is funny. I I love that about visual novels and Otome games when they make parodies of obvious popular things in pop culture that that's a stupid name though I can get it tumble roll I get it uh, <laughs> that one, that, I just can't get over it is there Alice in Wonderland now did anyone see that on the picture on the left huh. okay I have my music player going too and I hum along to the beat of one of my favorite bands as I scroll through the seasonal card games uh, yeah while I'm at it I might as well be productive I quickly make a tab, make a new tab, and type my university's name in the search bar. Of course, the first th the first hit would be my school's website. Gross. I don't get it. What's so nasty about that? If I typed in my high school, I know that'd be the first thing to pop up, even though there's like a bunch of other schools named after it with the same name. I really don't want to think about classes just yet. I scroll past it to look at other choices. Boring, boring. Oh, hey, a school newspaper. That sounds cool, and I figure maybe it has some info on any events happening at the start of the school year. Mm, if I know anything, the only thing going on in the beginning of the school year is tuition and orientation. Unfortunately, besides a recap on orientation, which I really do not want to remember ever, there we go, there isn't much to read. Who really likes to listen to orientation? Because orientation is one of the most boring things, especially if you go to a school that's awkwardly strict. Because all they do is go over the entire rule book and then you're left sitting there like oh shut up come on oh hold the phone ha <laughs> hold the phone bring the phone to my face <laughs> that's funny whoa what's this multiple disappearance mystery continues we're gonna go ahead and read the phone then. the school newspaper multiple disappearance mystery continues by Silo Littner the more I read this, the more I doubt that this is, in Amer this is a school in America. The multiple disappearance mystery continues. There have been three victims so far, the police says. Even as I read the title of the article aloud, I can't believe this. It sounds like some silly rumor that an upperclassman made up to, to scare, this up, scare us freshmen. Really? Do you really think that any of the upperclassmen are really that pressed to scare the crap out of you freshmen by putting something up in the school newspaper talking about, oh yeah, we, we're, there are people just disappearing. Even though it says, the police say. And they couldn't put that. Why would the school let them do that? Unless you have one of those chillax schools, they wouldn't let you do that even on your best day. Strangely enough, it seems credible, and the author even has sources and official statements from the police and everything. How weird. Three victims so far. Each girl went missing for around a few days before being found unconscious somewhere in the town. Unable to remember a thing. And it looks like each victim transferred out afterward. I would too! I got kidnapped. I've been missing for a couple of days. What do I want to do? Go back to school. Once I wake up, can't remember a thing. I'm going to still go back to school and be like, huh. I get algebra homework. Even though I was gone. Maybe some pre-cal in there too. No, there's no telling what could have happened to me while I was out conscious and can't remember a thing. There could be rape going, there could have been rape going on and I wouldn't have known it. I'd transfer my behind out of there quicker than, I don't know what. I stop scrolling for a moment as I feel a chill run up my spine. 
That's so spooky. I don't get it. Can someone, something like that really be happening? Am I missing something? I absentmindedly twirl a strand of hair up around my finger as I continue. This is actually kind of weird. And, oh, the police think this is all the work of some mysterious abductor. No, nah, did it really take you that long? No shit, Sherlock. I finished the article soon after, but the details I read continue to stay in my mind. People going missing isn't just something you can ignore. Why isn't the school doing more? Why does no one seem to care that much? Because, sweetheart, this is what goes on. I don't know if this is an American school or not, but honestly, if there's one thing that media tells you, they'll just tell you what happens. Will they tell you much about action? Nah, because they just find that irrelevant. Well, that's an easy answer. This is all scary as heck. Plus, it's way easier to leave things to the police. Yep, but they don't do their job most of the time. Yeah, I just gotta leave it to the police. Be a little careful, watch myself at night, and most importantly, study, study, study. Except for that last thing, you should be doing these on a normal day basis. Ugh. And who the heck studies? I don't study. I've never studied for a test in my life. I keep my face straight for a mere seconds before bursting out into laughter. There you go. Or maybe I can buy this striped cardigan at my own start of the new semester. As my own start of the new semester. Present. Really? It's not a present if you buy it for yourself. And I'm going to pretend that you didn't say cardigan. I'm going to pretend for five minutes that you meant to say, instead of a striped cardigan, you meant a hoodie. I click out, I click out of the new tabs, the news tab, and get started on my favorite hobby. Oh dear god. Online shopping. This isn't the time to get gloomy. I have a whole new a whole year ahead of me, and maybe things aren't going to be as picture perfect as the college brochures want me to believe. That's the thing, Nicole, that's where you should have thought about this. Once the tuition payments are made, once you, the school does not have to look picture perfect anymore. But I figure nothing is ever as it really seems at the first glance. Hey, if anyone knows that, it's me. Ah, well, it looks like we've gotten through at least the first part. So, now it's the tutorial. And I think that we'll wrap this up for now. And we'll do the tutorial in the next part. I'll see you guys in Let's Play Nicole, part two. This is Tomboy Gamer. Peace out.